Two Springfield business owners face years in prison after pleading guilty to tampering with tow trucks. The federal government says the owner of affordable towing would work with a mechanic to take parts off his truck that monitor emissions. That is a violation of the Clean Air Act. Michael Hoffman is live outside of the tow company right now. Michael, you spoke with the owner today and he admitted to this all. Is that right? Well, you're right, Lee. Dennis Cleveland, the owner of Affordable Towing right here in Springfield, has already pleaded guilty to removing parts off of at least seven of his tow trucks. Now, he admitted to me this afternoon that this is where the conspiracy <laughs> and ended with a Department of Justice investigation. And even though he is facing years behind bars, he tells me that he is not worried. We just basically took him off and, and did away with him. Cleveland admits he took the converters off his affordable tow trucks, but says he didn't think it was serious until a surprise investigation from the feds. They could have just called me, I would have told them, because I didn't think it was a big deal. Cleveland and Robert Dyke, the owner of now closed Full Flash Tuning, would tamper with the trucks to save money on both fuel and maintenance. Every 200,000 miles, you got to completely redo the exhaust system again. And the process of that is bankrupting the whole trucking industry. Cleveland says the investigation into his business all started when his decision to help someone backfired. We have Bible studies and feed the homeless people on a regular basis at our car lot on uh, Glenstone and Commercial. And a guy that we had helped, he would, didn't have a trailer, didn't have some stuff, and we helped him and let him borrow a bunch of stuff, gave him some work, and then when we stopped giving him work, he decided that he should turn us in to anybody he could think of. The Environmental Protection Agency says not having the parts on the trucks releases pollutants in the air, and it's a violation of the Clean Air Act. Cleveland says it's important to follow the law. Not to go to, not to get in trouble with the federal government is why it's important. Cleveland says while he doesn't agree with the law, he plans to now comply. You have to obey the law, bottom line. I mean, it isn't, it isn't. In my mind, socially, it is, it's not wrong. And there's lots of people that would disagree with that. And so the object is to comply. Cleveland tells me that affordable towing is still fully operational and he plans for it to stay that way. When asked if his trucks are now fixed, he told me that the seven trucks that didn't have the converters will not be used again and he plans to sell them. Now, the EPA has been tasked with keeping an eye on the emissions coming from the affordable towing trucks but there is still no word on when his sentencing will be. Lee?